Okay, let's determine the domain and the range for this relation over here. And just to get started, I will once again plot all these points so we can see our relation on the graph. Here we have x and y, of course. So starting with negative 3 and negative 6. So negative 3, negative 6 right here. Did I count right the 6? Yes, I did. Negative 1 and 7. Right there. Negative 1 and negative 6. So negative 1, negative 6. And finally, just 4 and 7. Okay, so let's determine the domain. Again, the domain is just all the x values that exist in the relation. So those are going to be negative 3, negative 1, two points, right? They give us negative 1, and positive 4. And that's it. And how are we going to show that? We're going to say x such that x is equal to negative 3, negative 1, and positive 4. That's it. What about the range? Well, the range are all the values that, <clears throat> that exist for y. So we have negative 6, and we have negative 7, and that's it. And those are repeats, but that's fine. We just write them once each. So y is such that y is equal to negative 6. And wow, I wrote negative 7. I'm crazy. I meant to write positive 7. Sorry about that. So yes, y such that y is equal to negative 6 and positive 7. Not negative. <laughs> and that's it. That is the range. At this point, we're done.